if you are alive, you absolutely unequivocally have the time. You will not get a single word of discouragement. Not today. like you they hate you they want you removed from the face of the earth they want you broke they want you destitute they don't want you to know what love feels like you want to give up it's too hard <clears throat> too many bills too many people passed too many of the wrong ones are still alive so many of the good ones are taken away the government craps on us you can't seem to get ahead you can't figure it out <clears throat> you don't know who to talk to you don't know what you believe in you don't know the difference between light and dark your vision is blurry your presence, your energy is off, you're depressed, you're dark, you're lonely, you're walking down this path with a million people but feel like you're alone. No one wants to support you. No one believes in you. You can't seem to take one step without getting five removed from you. You're constantly having to start over, relapsing, relapsing. You don't know if God sees you or hears you. You don't know if he believes that you are there, that he cares. Why would he allow you to go through this? Why would he allow you to be in the pain that you're in? Why would he take everything that you loved away from you? Why, 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 why? Pull up a chair. We need to have a little conversation. Because it's quite apparent that under the ordinances of the world's structure, the way that humans have pieced together <laughs> this brilliant, masterful plan to run society fluent with order. We've also managed to screw ourselves as well. In order to protect something from being taken from us, in order to create systems that favor one over the other to protect to keep a hierarchy to keep certain principles we've created 
a stronghold of infallible pieces that have done nothing <clears throat> but further bring demonic immorality and presence to the world <clears throat> the world is sick okay <clears throat> world is sick little children are being killed by their parents <clears throat> abortions gang violence shootings people dying in war dying from disease from starving broken hearts turned into sewer Put that aside. We're going to sue and put that aside. <clears throat> People are broken. People have lost hope in Christianity and religion. And I'm pretty sure there's folks that's wondering where do I go from here? Who do we trust? Do we trust people? We can't even trust our own families. How do I get out of the holes that I'm in? How do, what, what do I do? Where do we go from here? I'm tired of being depressed and sad and lonely and empty and non-fulfilled. I'm tired of being tired. What do I do? Well, I tell you, <clears throat> give praise, glory, and honor to the Most High. You know, the one that formed you in your mother's womb, the one that knew you before anyone else knew who you were, the one that knows every hair in your head. Do you really think or have that much respects towards persons that you would rather rely or put your faith in a world that is broken to piece together your life. You trust your neighbor to pull you out of your darkness out of your depression out of wherever you are right now presently <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> let me tell you some some real some real spill i should have waited i'm not 100 percent yet <clears throat> but i i felt it needed to be done so it is what it is your mother can't save you your father can't save you your best friend can't save you that person plotting on your life can't save you the one that you're plotting on can't save you your self-righteous attitude can't save you the bill collectors don't care about you your wounds and your scars don't care. That depression doesn't care. All of that heaviness and all of that anger and all of that payback that you want, that's not going to save you. It's not going to free you. It's not going to make nothing better. My bad if y'all didn't catch what I said.
So let me reiterate. You cannot rely on people to rescue you. They cannot free you from your arrogance. They cannot free you from your pride. They cannot get you out of destitution. They cannot mend your relationships. They cannot take your foot out of the grave. They cannot protect you from your enemies. They cannot protect you from yourself. They cannot bring joy to you, real, true joy. It's not their responsibility. I don't care how many books you read, if it's not the word, if it's not from someone who is anointed giving you word, there's absolutely no points in wasting your energy in that. Do you have a quiet place? Do you have somewhere that you can go and just have it out? Believer, non-believer, do you want to know if God is real, if he exists? Are you sick and tired of the life that you have and you want better for yourself? Are you really ready for something different? If that's you, <clears throat> praise God. Praise your way through. Try the spirit by the spirit. Go to your quiet place. Go anywhere where it's just you and the void to have your conversation whatever it may be have it we are still alive people i don't know if people really understand or appreciate how important or how special that is we are still alive breathing we're not. This isn't us. We still can talk. We still can pay bills and go to the doctors and get checked out and eat healthier and feed ourselves positive affirmations and read positively and receive and give and love and correct and fix certain things we still have that opportunity to do certain stuff yeah everything around you might be shitty right now i get that trust me i get it but we are still in a better position than the dead are Would you would you rather waste your time complaining to people who don't really care anyway? Or just take it to God? Whether you believe he's real or not. Would you rather waste your words on people you know ain't really there for you? Or just take the the creator himself? It's, it's time to realize that you're better than what you are. And you're worth more than you give yourself credit for. It's time to wake up. Praise your way through it. Praise your way through it. Praise your way through it. If you got to do it for a week straight, do it. If you got to do it for an hour straight, do it. If you got to do it for a month straight, do it. If you got to keep on knocking until you get an answer, keep doing it. 
one thing I do not want to hear anyone up here say is that I can't. You still got a breath in your body. Stop wasting it. Stop wasting it. Because there's a lot of folks that would give anything to get this time back. 